What is up guys? Welcome to kind of a special video here. I'm showing you my favorite build I've ever done. It's a hotel build. It was a really cool idea and I really enjoyed doing it. I have about 30 rooms here, a couple restaurants, and it's kind of a cool, fun thing to try out. I know hotels aren't done in Sims 4 yet. I'm hoping they add it eventually. I know there was hotels in Sims 3, so I was kind of hoping we'd eventually get hotels in Sims 4, but who knows? Who knows? So this is what the overall outside of the hotel looks like. It has a beautiful aesthetic. We got a nice, like, linear look here. I don't know what happened to that wall. Don't look at that wall. Let's just avoid that wall, okay? But it has a really nice look. We made a parking lot out of the toy cars. You size them up, which makes them look like cars. It's not cars in this game. Rip a dip. And then we made a nice display. You kind of have that place where you park in. Maybe your cars get chauffeured to a lot or whatever, to a parking spot. Nice little entryway. And when we go inside, we have 30 hotel rooms, I think six suites. It's been a little bit since I've actually really looked at this build. I had so much fun doing it at the time, but this was probably over a year ago before a lot of the packs came out. Bet you Get Famous would have a lot of cool stuff to add into this build now. Over here, we have the welcoming desk, which we did a really nice job on. We obviously have a computer, some little files, a little notebook and stuff. We'd put counters to make the desk just a wee bit bigger. Big painting, size that one up, I believe. We have two little, two little seating areas over here to kind of hang out and, you know, chill. Over here, we have a little bit of a cafe. I really like the cafe look. That's just a basic countertop. Uh, basic countertop from get to work? I think get to work. A little cash register and some seating. Then we have some nice little knickknacks over here. In the back, we actually have a gym. It's not the biggest gym in the world, so it's not no five-star gym, but I actually, I don't mind the gym at all. And then over here, we have some public bathrooms for anyone who needs to go to the bathroom and doesn't have a hotel room yet or is waiting. Over here, we have a little cooking area, which I'm obsessed with. This is probably one of my favorite things, because if you ever go to hotels, they have this little area where you can usually get snackies, you know? A little bit of snacks. Maybe they do the breakfast buffet, which is, like, ideal. So we did that little thing. We did curtains to create a little bit of um, separation in the room in an archway, of course. In all these rooms, the hotel is designed pretty much identical. So on this bottom floor, all the hotel rooms are the same. There's 12 rooms on each floor. So we have 12 rooms, all the same. I can show off each individual room though. So this is the basic room on this floor. We got a little bit of knickknacks and uh, toiletries and stuff over there. We have some water, nice, nice room, nice carpet in there as you can see. Beautiful vintage stuff over there. We use a vintage giraffe uh, lamp, which I really like. Obviously in the bathroom, we have a little bit of a shower caddy in there. You can see here we got some nice complimentary towels and once again the countertops are really nice and the windows. I will show it a little bit better. So there you go. Really good look for the bathrooms. Going upstairs, our stairway ended up having to be over here. I couldn't find a good place for an elevator so we just did stairways at the end of this hallway. Sadly, there's no stairways at the end of this hallway. But we have them on this hallway so that's okay. So you take the stairs up. And once again, we have the archway and the long hallway feel. So that's really nice. This area is a little bit higher end. These hotel rooms are a little bit more expensive, more lavish. Once again, another 12 hotel rooms on this floor, all identical. We use the beautiful giraffe lamp. It's my favorite lamp. Don't tell anyone. We got a couple paintings here. This is one of my favorite things to do is to switch up the painting design and then put them next to each other, just different colors. You just get the basics. This is obviously all the same painting, just different uh, colors on those. Nice little wall and some curtains. Once again, very nice looking area. Got the water, got the nice TV. Beds facing the TV, beautiful. And last but not least, the beautiful bathrooms. These we did the really high end toilets, really make it look nice and make it look lavish. Nice shower, cool sink. Coming all the way down to the end of the hallway, the archway enters into this area. This is a little bit of an office area. Most hotels now have this where they have a place to maybe print out passports or print out passports, print out boarding passes and print out whatever airplane tickets, whatever you have to print. They usually have a little area. So we have this, which is a little bit of an office. Over here, we have a conference room, which I imagine businesses would rent out. That's kind of my idea, kind of how I played it. We put curtains around the entire thing in case it's a private occasion 
meaning, I don't know, maybe it's a private conference or they don't want anyone else to know about it. So whatever. So you got the curtains and gives you a little bit of separation. Looks around the entire outside though, right on the water, which I really like. This world's one of my favorite, Willow Creek. Still one of my favorite worlds after all the new worlds. We have a couple tables, 12 chairs, 12 chairs, math. And then a little bit of coffee machine and a TV. Over here, we have a bar, actually, which I really like. It's a separate bar. We have the cafe downstairs, a bar here on the rooftop. We have a beautiful restaurant, which we're going to get over to. We got a nice line, a little bit of a check-in booth there. And then here we have some nice paintings and stuff. Really like the vibe of this area, as you can see. Looks nice. It's a nice place to socialize, maybe get a drink at night. The hotel bar, it's always a place to be. And then you can come sit over here and look over into the parking lot. I didn't really think that through. Maybe I should have put it on the other. You know what? It's fine. It looks great. It looks great. Coming up, this is my favorite part. I kind of call the hotel the ho like diamond hotel because this looks like a diamond. So we ended up cutting off the roof to all this area. So it's a complete balcony looking down. I didn't like that you could look into the conference area, but let's not talk about that. <laughs> you can look down into any of the areas, which is really cool and it's shaped like a diamond, if you can see. And I really like the look of it. Once again, you can look out. This is the third floor. On these floors, we have suites. All these suites are high-end suites. So we have 24 normal rooms, six high-end suites in this hotel. Each suite is uniquely designed, so none of them match. They all have their own vibe, though. We have a modern suite over here, which I really enjoy. This is probably my favorite. Whenever I do builds, I always uh, stay away from color, and I think it's something I have to get better at because color is extremely important and I just don't use it enough but this is my favorite it's a modern suite you have the beautiful full kitchen in here you have bedrooms over here once again the painting idea different painting but same idea nice bathroom cool dining area and then a nice little living space which I think is extremely uh, high end to have a like a full dining table and living room in your hotel room over here it's kind of like a country style room country style suite Nice counters, floor ceiling, uh, cabinets over there, little bar, bedroom. As you walk across, you can look down into all these different areas, see what's going on, then walk over to the other two rooms, which are also different, of course. Here's one of them. This one is our only multi-bedroom room, I believe. We actually have two bedrooms here. We have two twin-size beds over here, which looks really nice. And then over here, we have the, whoever is probably paying for the room, the parents' room maybe, and then the kids' room over here. Living space, of course, and a full kitchen. A little bit of a rustic feel? I don't know if that's the right term. Different feel than the rest of the hotel. I can't think of the, the, the word for it. But once again, really cool room, all wood. A very masculine room with the hardwoods. I, I really like it. And it's a little bit more... It looks a little bit more worn down, but it's clearly kept up. Uh, hard to explain. Hard to explain, but I love this room. This is a cool room. And then coming up again, you're going to come all the way back over here. Once again, the stairs are all the way at the end. Come on up. And then we have an entire another area. Two suites up here. And two suites, what else do we have? Two suites, movie theater, children's place, a little bit of karaoke, and then a full outdoor outdoor restaurant. There we go. By the way, this entire build can be downloaded at my EA tag. I think that's the term for it. EA ID, EA ID, there you go, maybe. Uh, bring the party, bring the party. If you just search hashtag bring the party, there's a bunch of cool uploads from viewers and there will be this up there as well. It's the hotel one. This is kind of a vampire theme. We use vampires in this gothic theme. There you go. Coming all the way down, we have two full movie theaters. At the time, I didn't have movie stuff, so I got to change it. But uh, two full movie theaters. Little kids area if you want to drop the kids off before you do anything. And then a little, little bit of a 
movie theme over here with the posters and the lights, kind of like what's playing. Then outside is a full outdoor restaurant. Hopefully one day I could use this build. It saddens me that I can't. With all this though, my favorite part of this entire build is, uh, is what it looks like at night. When it's at night, it's beautiful. You have to see this. So switch it over to night. Turn that grid off. And look at this. Look at how the entire room lights up. The street lights. The lights on the building all going around the entire building. We have little lanterns up here for the restaurant. This will probably forever be my favorite build. Out of any build I've ever done, this will always be my number one. I had so much fun building it, and it was it was fun doing things that aren't usually in The Sims, and that's what I really enjoy right now is doing things that you would not normally see in The Sims. I made countless bunkers, which I have a lot of fun doing because it's weird and you use a lot of oddities to make it look realistic. And this hotel is exactly the same thing. We used a lot of things that won't ever be usable. I don't think you'll ever be able to run a multi-restaurant location. That just, I don't think it's possible, but it was all fun building it. If you guys ever do something like this, make sure to let me know. Make sure to tweet me, send me pictures. I'd love to see them. Thank you everyone so much for checking out this awesome build. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I hope it inspired you to hopefully build something cool in The Sims like I did. Enjoy the rest of your nights. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the deal. I'll talk to you next episode.